What's up guys? I'm here playing some Dragon Ball Fighters. The big patch just hit last night. I'm actually not streaming live right now. It's just you and me, the YouTube audience. Uh, I wanted to get in there and get a chance to mess with some of the changes. Master Roshi is still not out yet, but at least we can play with the various buffs and nerfs and stuff. Videl is back! I decided, you know, she got some pretty sizable nerfs that might be a good time to play her. Uh, ooh, and our opponent, he's running the majorly buffed Blue Vegeta. He's kind of been the talk of the town in some circles. Blue Vegeta seeming very good. Ooh, plus he's got the the double stuff uh, Android 16 assist, too. Ooh, he always reflects, huh? Let's just, uh, let's just throw that. Okay. So, yeah, 16. He throws two of those thingies now. Can you believe it? Ooh, if only I had baited that. Could you imagine? Okay, we got a spark. He did not want to deal with Videl's mix. Ooh, big 2H, though. This is going to hurt. Yeah, 16, really highly buffed character as well. Ooh, unfortunate drop. I'm going to leave Videl in, you know what? We're going to leave her in, I believe. Let's just hope he doesn't do EX command throw. That's what I'm scared of. Okay. So you can see some new Videl combo routes there. Pretty fun stuff. Let's get, let's get her out, though. She's done good work. Uh, yeah, TN. Wow, this guy's actually just running like maybe the three most buffed characters from the patch. Uh, so TN, they made Dodon Ray way, way better. Also, they improved his supers when he's low on health. Little uh, extension there with Videl Assist. Mm, get me out. I'm mashing Vanish really hard. Looks like our opponent had the right idea, but he missed the punish a little bit. Oh yeah, also Krillin, they buffed Krillin! What are they doing out here buffing Krillin, dude? Okay, so watch this. Watch the round start. Oh, you guys seeing it? <laughs> it's like we're playing Nappa out here. It's crazy. It's great. Uh, let's bring Videl back into party a little bit here, though. Uh, I think I'm just going to block and call Yamcha just in case he does like level 3. I guess maybe I could have killed with triple level 1, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. What am I talking about? I can't call Yamcha. I just Z-changed. Listen, it's early in the morning, guys. I'm not used to filming. <laughs> I'm not used to playing in the morning. That's my that's my excuse, okay? Ooh, nice little falling light there. So 16, a uh, cool new thing he can do. Now when he lands this dunk, uh, I believe he gets air options back? It seems like our opponent's still doing old combo routes, though, which is totally fine. Um... Uh, yeah, so I think he can, like, extend his combos more using the the dunks, the Nike dunk. And his his B assist is just crazy now, so in case you weren't paying close attention earlier, his B assist, he shoots four projectiles. I don't even know what to compare it to. Is there anything like that in the game so far? It's like, I don't know. It's like Janemba assist, but better. But yeah, we're mashing. Oh, I thought I was getting jabated. Okay, that was a little, listen, that was a little sloppy. There was some spaghetti there, but it's fine. It's fine. I like that our opponent is trying out new stuff. Um, I've played a few already that I didn't feel like making videos out of because it was just people running like UI Goku, GT, Kid Buu or whatever, not exploring the new stuff. So I'm hoping... See, look, there's the second set of projectiles! How sick is that? I feel like 16 is going to be so much more popular. You know, I tried to dodge. I tried to do the Videl dodge. But this is going to be fun. Oh, jeez. TN got me. 
I don't think they buffed Odon Ray assist, as far as I know, but it's all it's it's a decent assist generally. Oh, the second bullet's got me, dude! That assist is so sick. You can of course super dash through it. You can super dash through it, you can reflect it, but still. It, it's like closer to Super Saiyan Vegeta than anything, really. This guy's assists are both so threatening in neutral. Oh yeah, and Blue Vegeta, his key blasts are just absurd now. He can like confirm off his key blast super easily. Let's just go into level three here. Yeah, I'll bait that. Okay, let's just miss miss our snap there. Not the greatest. Okay, a little bit of slops and drops from your boy. I know that's hard to believe, considering it's me we're talking about here, but... Yeah, the, the extra distance on 5M and 5H is just really sick. I'm a big fan. Oh! Baited the reflect. Our opponent's making it happen right now. I respect it. But I'm just going to uh, peace out with Krillin real quick, if y'all don't mind. Give me that blue life. I mean, I guess we could have just like thrown a bean or something, but... I want the dub too. Let's just bait, see if we can catch a super dash. Nope. Decided to uh, jump at a poor time. I smell a command throw. I guess not. Just knock him out of a normal throw there. So yeah, Yamcha, unfortunately, a little bit of a nerf. If I didn't mention already, his uh, instant Wolf Fang Flisk Flash uh, now has way more recovery. I'll try to show it here. You can see a lot more recovery. We didn't get punished there for it, though. We got away with it. And oh my god, the Cursed 2H actually worked there? That's crazy. Interesting that this opponent doesn't seem to like to up-tech. Doesn't seem to like to respect plus frames either. But you know what? I respect it. I respect the lack of respect. Now Krillin's back. Okay, now watch this round start, guys. This is gonna be sick. I'm just mashing 5H. Believe it. Okay, okay, he jumped out. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. No panic, guys. <laughs> he jumped out. <laughs> Listen, it's not a foolproof plan. It's not a foolproof plan, but it works if they're blocking. Now, what I need is some kind of assist that catches them if they're jumping back, like GT or something. And then we just 5H plus assist, cover everything. It's so good. So, yeah, it's it's like, it's not quite Nappa 5H status, but it is very good. It's, it's kind of nuts that they buffed that move, dude. His 5M and his 5H are really good moves, so I'm, I'm hyped for top tier Krillin, you know? So we, we, uh... Nope! I thought maybe I could bait. Guard cancel even though he doesn't have meter. What am I thinking? Okay, I see you. I see you with the 2H. Respect. Ooh, I wonder if she can get loops off that now. Alright, now watch this. Okay, I panicked a little bit. I didn't do loops, guys. Now nah, we'll do it. Ah, I got greedy. I got greedy. I went for I went for the extra reps up at the top. You can continue comboing after that. I think we'll just leave him in. Why not? See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, a little bit of a blue combo, but it's fine. Yeah, Videl is just so fun now. Her new corner routes are so fun. She almost feels like base Vegeta or something, just without <laughs> without a tracking teleport that you combo off of for only half a meter. That's the only difference. That and she doesn't have a key blast either, or a reflect. Other than those three things, <laughs> it feels just like playing top tier base Vegeta. All right, she's out of here, but we still got the man Krillin. So Krillin, his beam is a little bit different now. It's a little bit interesting. Um, similar to a change they made with Tien, uh, if you do his beam in the air, he kind of like drags the beam 
across the air a little bit. Like, you kind of cover a little bit of space with the beam, which is interesting. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's not what you want, but I believe you can cancel it by pressing down so that it doesn't do that. Okay, nice. Yeah, you can see the, the buff key blast there. If, if I get hit by those key blasts, he, he gets a confirm, which is a little nutso. Break that throw, don't mind if I do. Uh-oh, a little too aggressive with the key blasts. And now we beat out the reflect. All right, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the round start again. No, he's gonna jump back, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna meet him in the air. Let's see? No! I want the bean. No! I want that bean. He got it again. One more try. No! I wanted the bean, guys! I didn't want a tag, I wanted a bean! Okay, let's just uh, see if we can bait out a Super Dash or something, or just get killed. That's fine too. Anchor Tien, very scary now. He does not lose as much life when he does level 3 or level 2 or level 7. He loses way less life. His Dodon Ray is highly improved, which I think helps his neutral a lot. That was super awkward, but I will, of course, take it. And then we drop right at the end. Guys, this was supposed to be a clean win. This was supposed to be mad clean. What's going on? It's fine. It's fine. All part of the plan. Oh, uh, okay. What do you say we give one more? I know I just, I, I won the set, but if this guy wants to play one more, I'll play one more. Let's see. Okay, he wants. Let's do one more. I just want more time playing Videl, man. She's so fun. All right. We're going to go for it here. Oh, wait. No, no. We can't loop there. Now we can. Lag Arena. I thought I was gonna power through the lag. Ooh, the big dunks. It's fine. Oh man, we almost got there. You can actually set up the loops from that far out of mid screen, if you can believe it. Okay, whew, a little bit of lag panic there. So much panic that I might not even get the kill here. Nope. But yeah, you can just see how, how cool and fun those new routes are, and I love that you can do it starting mid-screen. That's so sick. Definitely some of this worked before. Um, I was never really that optimal with Videl before, but like everything is just easier now. You can just do way more damage way more easily with her, which is really, really nice. From what I've tested, her new dodge seems barely improved at all from her old dodge, but I'll take it, I guess. And her 2M is pretty highly improved, too, which is nice. 2M was kind of one of her big weaknesses that it was so slow before. Oh, the big dunks. But it might not matter. Uh, I'm not going to be able to kill here, am I? There we go, Videl. Okay. You know, I really thought I was onto something there. Now he can definitely kill me. So yeah, he takes very little damage from this now, I think. I think that is an intentional buff, which is cool. Like, I like, you know, them, you know, even though I don't want them to, like, tell us how to build teams for us, you know? Like, I don't want it to be like League of Legends, where it's like, this character can only be played in this role. But I like the idea of, like, having these build-around characters like Tien, where it's like, yeah. he He's a little bit weaker in the other slots, but in that third slot, he's just a terror. 
So we can see the new Dodon Ray there. You can see he kind of falls while he does it. And Krillin has a very similar thing. So if you do like instant Kamehameha with Krillin, uh, he actually drops a little bit. He doesn't do it at the same height as before. But anyway, guys, I mean, I think the team's looking pretty good. Not like I'm... Listen, just to set the record straight, I'm not dropping Android 18. I just want to mess with Videl now because she is really, really fun. So... If you guys haven't checked out the new patch yet, I don't know what consoles it's live for. It's definitely live for PS4, but I'm not sure about Xbox or PC uh, as of when you're watching it. But uh, regardless, I highly recommend messing around with a lot of the characters. There's been a lot of buffs and nerfs, and it's a really fun time right now. So check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.